Hi everyone, this is Lee, and we are going to make another compartment um, divider uh, pour today. And today I have used um, just the Floetrol paint right out of the container with um, equal parts Liquitex pour medium, um, professional pour medium. 50-50, and I had to add water to uh, the yellow, and I had to use um, Golden's um, soft gel in the purple. Um, and the purple is Windsor and Newton um, uh, violet um, it, and it was too thin with just the Liquitex and the paint um, and then this this is going to be my um, pour that I uh, have on the canvas to assist the rest of it has um, blue white and uh, a little bit of black of the the artist loft uh, flow acrylic so um, my first thing I'm going to do is um, go ahead and put the um, base down. And it's because of, um, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying, ooh, be really careful, this is still very wet. Um, I am trying to not have so many cells. I want to see the rings and I just... Um, I'm not quite sure why there's so much cells, but I do know that I opened a new bottle of Floetrol. Um, this was one of them that I had did um, that did not have any uh, cell development. And then this is the one that was like major cell development. Um, and yet I seem to have used the same mixture and everything. The only difference is I opened a new Floetrol. So there is no Floetrol. Floetrol, the last, last night I used Liquitex and some Floetrol. Um, so let's see if um, today we have any luck um, avoiding the cells and we actually can see the nice rings. So, I'm gonna put this on here. It's nice, nice consistency. going here. So we will now go ahead and roll up the sleeves, cover up the bracelet. Getting this bracelet dirty is amazing. I don't like to take it off. So, so we'll go ahead and put the green on the outside. Maybe that was on the inside. So now we're going to put the blue in and we're only gonna go up to the line with the blue so that each compartment has the same amount of paint.
Here we go. You're gonna be able to see it coming out. So I'm gonna turn it clockwise, no, counterclockwise. First comes out the green. So this is the one without the Floetrol. This one just has the Liquitex. And it looks like it stopped as soon as it started. I don't, I'm not quite sure what happened. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you what I have and then I'll find out. Um, I left the negative over here. And I really like the way I did the center. It looks three dimensional. So that's the whole thing up above. And then we come down here and this is the one where I took the Floetrol and I added it to the divider. And the cell development is so much that you can't even see the lines. I mean, they're just uh, too many cells. And there's no oil, no Floetrol. This is Liquitex and um, um, Artist Loft Paint and Windsor and Newton. So I am trying to figure out how come I'm getting the cells. So I can see this is from the Floetrol. Oops, dirty finger now. From the paint. And I can see these might be from air? Bubbles, maybe? I don't know. I just, uh, maybe the See, that's not from air. Maybe, I mean, each the colors are separate in the dividers. And um, so I would think we, well, this, I don't know. If someone has an idea, uh, I would love to know your opinion. Both right there at the same time. 